Russell Westbrook has just been traded to the Washington Wizards. I don't have a whole lot of time, but let's just grade the trade from each team's perspective. First of all, for the Wizards, this is a win. And I don't care how you feel about Russell Westbrook, you can hate him all you want, but the fact of the matter is, he's not going to injure his Achilles walking around his own home. The fact of the matter is, John Wall's health has become a major question mark, and even though Russ got injured last season, it's nowhere near as bad as John Wall. Because when John Wall gets injured, he's gone for many months, whereas with Russ, even with his worst looking injuries, he's still only gone for a few games at a time. Bradley Beal and John Wall's chemistry has been up and down since they've played together. I've even seen reports that Bradley Beal was pushing for this trade to happen in the first place, but you have to think that he would like to play with a guy like Russell Westbrook, a guy that gives 100% every night, and no matter what, will leave everything on the court. Bradley Beal also plays a lot better off-ball than James Harden does, so Russ can return to his Oklahoma City role that he was talking about, instead of having to watch James Harden dribble between his legs 100 times. And that's not hating on James Harden. He's a great player, and he's the best player on the team, so you want to give him the ball. But at the same time, if you're Russell Westbrook and you want to be able to distribute to other guys, and you see a player that's in need of a guy like that, it's Bradley Beal. And it's not because John Wall is no good, it's just because he can never stay on the court. And that's why it's a major question for me why the Rockets would even do this is a great player, like I said. But he's never played with a guy like James Harden. He's never had to give up the ball that much. Yes, Bradley Beal can score, and he can score off the dribble, but James Harden is a totally different animal in that regards. So it's going to take a lot for them to mesh, and how much time are they really going to have to mesh when John Wall's off the court so much? Another reason why I think it's a big question mark for Houston is how much better is John Wall than Russell Westbrook? This is really similar to the Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul trade in that we don't really know how much better one guy is than the other. Really what Houston is doing here is they're remaking that trade because when Chris Paul had a bad playoff series, they said, to hell with him, and they got Russell Westbrook. And then he ended up being worse and also had a bad playoff series, so now they're like, to hell with him too. They're just going to keep rotating these point guards when these guys aren't that much better or maybe even worse than the guy they're giving up but they just don't know that yet. So all in all, if I had to pick a winner in this trade, it is the Washington Wizards for the simple fact that Russ will stay on the court, he'll play with Bradley Beal, they will be back in the playoffs, and the Houston Rockets already have high expectations because they always do, and John Wall's not really going to meet what they need. He's not going to be that much better than Russ, even if he is healthy, and James Harden's still going to be the number one guy scoring 30 points a game, and you're really going to see them replay last year just like they replayed the year before. They're going, the Rockets are running in place, and they're just using different players to do it. And obviously, I'm a little biased here. I got Russ as my AVI, and I'm a Russ fan. I do not hate on him, but I also don't hate on other guys. I think John Wall's a great player. But again, the Rockets have higher expectations. This trade isn't the answer. They got to make more moves. Let me know in the comments what you think of this trade. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this.